main goal for this trip down to the boat is to replace all the sanitary hoses that are attached to the the head and holding tank. I'm going to start with the ones that are attached to the Y valve that go to the deck fitting and to the overboard discharge pump. I may even have to replace the overboard discharge pump because it's just, it smells. The uh, holding tank is located right here underneath the the bed. So the first thing I need to do is to pull this mattress out. This tank is the holding tank. It's uh, fiberglass into the hull. Down here is my Y valve. The line going off to the right goes to the deck fitting, and the line going off forward goes to the overboard discharge. So those are the two lines that um, you can never fully empty and the only way to flush them is when you flush out your tank by filling the tank up with water and getting it pumped out again. Filling it up with water and getting it pumped out again. And the overboard discharge, the only way to do that, uh, keep that clean and flushed is to do the exact same, um, but you're probably gonna be using salt water out in the ocean when you're discharging. So both those hoses tend to hold uh, some sewage. So those are the first ones we're going to remove. sink and this is the pump that is that controls the overboard discharge and I'm disconnecting the other section of the Y valve. The hose goes way down the hall there and under the shower. So I've rinsed off the shop vac and bucket. And this is the Y valve. You can see the directional flow is going to the hose that I was just sucking on. But I have a feeling there's still some liquids in here. So what I'm gonna do is get the shop vac again, put right in here, turned on, turned on and then turn this in this direction to suck. I just do not want any sewage getting into the uh, to the bilge. So that's the plan of attack. You 
can see there's just a little bit in there. Whew. All right, I gotta get this out. Hope that's doing something. Literally, is that dripping? It's dripping. <sighs> Turn that off. I've decided to add another element to this um, changing of the hoses project. I want to install a uh, electric toilet. So the next step is to remove this old toilet. Um, I'm also going to be, this is an old hose. Um, that's probably the worst for restrictions. It gets the uh, crystals in there, restricts the flow that way. So. I'm going to pull this off and end up replacing that hose too. Here's the vent right here. And this is coming directly from the toilet. I don't know if you can see down in there, but it goes way down deep in there. Makes a left. This is the new Jabsco electric toilet. Right here it's configured to flush with salt water from outside the boat. This is the vented loop on the salt water intake. This needs to be plugged in order for the pump to suck water from outside the boat. This is the configuration I use while I'm docked at my marina. I'm using fresh water to flush instead of the muddy water that's around Fort Myers Beach. On my last three-day trip with three passengers, we used 11 gallons of fresh water for our flushing. The toilet's been in and working for about three months. It's a true luxury to be able to flush with the push of a button. In the next video, I'll be taking you on a three-day trip to Sanibel Island with my mom and wife. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button and leave a comment below.